So just really a mammoth of a storm. The cloud coverage we're dealing with here locally, not associated with that of Hurricane Ian, but more so some lake effect that's been really offering a ton of rain to the north and east, but has been able to keep temperatures pretty steady for us over the past 24 hours, except to where there are no clouds really, where we're looking at temperatures that are much colder across parts of southern Ohio, where it's 37 degrees right now, 37 in Athens, 39 in Piketon, so likely waking up to some frost in some of those isolated spots. Temperatures further to the north, mid to upper 40s, near 50 degrees. Still very chilly out there, and we're going to continue to see those clouds kind of hover around and drift from the north to the south, seeing some breaks in the clouds later this afternoon. Still looking at some spotty showers as well later this morning into the early afternoon for us. Highs will be around 62 degrees again today, and that honestly might be a bit of a stretch for us. Fortunately, not as windy, still a bit of a breeze out of the north and then chilly again heading into tonight. Those temperatures will fall back in the mid 40s tomorrow. More sun and a little warmer, but still below average with highs in the mid 60s and talking about the potential for some of the remnants of this system. You know, as we head into the weekend, very good chance we'll see some of the upper level clouds associated with the remnants of Ian by the day on Saturday and then looking at possibly some light to moderate rain across parts of southeastern Ohio as we head in towards the end of the weekend. But but then really starting to clear out for us as we head into early next week. So again, still could see some things change with that, but not looking at really any significance as far as the remnants of Ian for our weather locally, other than, you know, some cloud coverage and a little bit of rain, perhaps some heavy rain far to the south and east where it stands right now. Again, a lot of things can change there, but as of right now, it's looking like things will then be pretty dry heading in the next week and temperatures will stay on the cool side with highs back on either side of 70 degrees.